hi dermatologist here we need to talk about the whole viral uv camera thing because i have had it officially so several videos from this creator have gone viral where she's essentially trying to compare sunscreens and say which one is better using this uv light device and while it might be visually cool like this is not this is not a real test okay so I wanted to break it down for you and kind of make sense of it. Several other creators, derms, cosmetic chemists, etc. have talked about this issue in the past, so not all of this may be an original thought. But here we go. My first issue with this type of quote-unquote test is that it's done with an instrument that's not designed to draw the conclusions that you're trying to conclude. From what I gathered, they're using this SkinCeuticals skin scope. And the purpose of this is to be informational. It uses different kinds of light, including UV, to help you do a skin analysis. Since it uses UV light and sunscreen absorbs UV, it will show up opaque. However, there are reasons that we don't use this for SPF testing. Looking at this, you're able to make what's called a qualitative assessment, not a quantitative assessment. What's the difference? Basically, you can use it to tell if there is sunscreen present. It can't give you a grade of how good the coverage is. If you want an example of this in real life, ask me if I'm short. Uh, it's a yes-no question. That's a qualitative assessment. If you measure my height, you will get a quantitative assessment, an actual number. Part of the reason we're not able to quantify from this is like it's, it's not a good test for what we're looking at. There are a whole host of other factors that can determine how opaque this sunscreen is going to show up. Not just how sun protective it is, but also other ingredients that are in the formula, human error, so how it's applied. I've never seen this creator actually measure out the sunscreen before putting it on. And also, application could be different depending on how dense the sunscreen is. So if you're putting on a thicker layer, it's probably going to show up more opaque. You know what is a quantitative measure of sunscreen effectiveness? SPF! Here in the US to determine that SPF number, there's an actual quantitative test done. An investigator measures out the correct amount of sunscreen, applies it to an area of skin, it gets irradiated with UV, and they're able to quantify how good that sunscreen is at preventing sunburn. This is a better measure, not just because it's quantitative and scientific, it's because you're actually looking at the endpoint that you're trying to avoid. Sun damage. And not whatever the hell this is.